This is a video for people who want to learn the essentials behind one tick chinning without sitting through a 20 minute video. Pause, rewind, or slow down the video if I'm moving too fast. First off, throughout this video you can see a line over the prayer orb, showing where in each tick we are. When the line is at the left side of the prayer orb, we're at the start of a tick. When it's at the right side of the prayer orb, we're at the end of a tick. This plugin is called Prayer in Runelight. Second, we have a plugin enabled called Metronome, which makes a noise every tick. This does the same thing as the prayer plugin, but using sound. Here's how to enable the same plugins that I have. First, click on the configuration button, type in prayer, click on this little settings icon, and then copy these settings. For metronome, you want to do the same thing, but just type in metronome, and then turn it on. Here's the settings I have, but these are just the default with Runelight. And then after you have your other plugins all set up, you want to go into Menu Entry Swapper, and then under Object Swaps, you want to make sure that Reset is unticked. So first I'll play the clip at full speed, and then I'll walk you through it slowly, and at the end of the video I'll play it at full speed again. The cycle begins when you use the tar and herb together. Keep an eye on the prayer orb in the top right to tell where in the tick we are. So right now you can tell we're at the beginning of a tick. And you can see here I use the tar and the herb together, which starts the cycle. Now you can see here the tick is ending, and tick 2 is beginning. In tick 2 you start to pull out your pestle and mortar and you want to click to walk to the spot where you want to place your trap. And now you can see tick 2 is about to end. And now we're in tick 3 because the bar is to the left. So now in tick 3, you want to click your box trap in your inventory, which you can see I'm doing here, and then immediately after, you want to run to this next spot, before the bar is to the right of the prayer orb. Now, it's important to do this in the same tick or else you'll be off cycle. And you basically, you can see I've already clicked before the trap is even on the ground. This is very important. So now another important thing to note here is that I'm actually not clicking on the box trap to move. I'm clicking either past it or around it. Um, here in this scenario, it works that I'm clicking past it because when you're running, you only move two squares at a time, which will place me from here one square, two squares on top of the box trap. So you can see tick four starts and then I click on check shaking box. If this, sets, if this says reset, then you have a setting in your menu entry swapper is wrong and you need to uncheck the reset box. So now you can see tick four is ending and I just wait. So you wait one tick and then you wait another tick, and then at the end of tick six here, you'll see the box trap appears in my inventory, and then you just click immediately. And then after you click, this is the same as the first box trap that we placed down, after you click this box trap, you wanna click to run at the, in the same tick before this bar reaches the end of the prayer orb. So you can see I've clicked it, and then I click past this trap here. And you can see we still haven't reached the end of the, the tick. So now tick eight starts and you can see I'm already clicking check shaking box. And this needs to happen before the end of that tick. And then tick nine, you wait. Take 10, you wait, and then same story as before. Right when the box trap appears, you click on it, and then you also run within the same tick. Very important to do this in the same tick. This can be a little bit unnerving at first because you're, you're actually clicking to move away 
before the box trap is actually on the on the ground. Um, in this specific scenario, you can see um, I got a red click for some reason. Um, I guess the game is bad. I don't know. I'm not actually clicking on it. So here my cycle is messed up because I'm bad, I guess. But in a perfect scenario, this would have worked. All right, so now that we've gone through all of this, we can just replay the same clip, but in full speed. Um, it's a lot at once, so just replay it as many times as you need it.